Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I just had a choking fit, so we had to stop the video, so we're starting a new video. And Phil was laughing. It's not funny. But he thought it was, but I didn't. So anyways, welcome back to our channel, everybody. We're so happy that you're here and could join us today. Um, today I'm doing a radio bloom on a 16 by 20 oval canvas for a change. I have a new color to go um, color, which is the base right uh surfing and um i thought that would make a really really pretty base color no you got that surfing blue from color to go from sherwin williams right correct okay just want to let them know correct you are correct mundo <laughs> so my color for my bloom the base of my bloom is I am using French Lilac by Primary Elements. And I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the Huckleberry on top of that. Now my Radio Bloom colors are Mediterranean Blue by Primary Elements, Lemon Drop Primary Elements, Carmen Primary Elements, Orange Yellow by Arteza, Tea Zircon, Teal Zircon by Primary Elements, Lucky Apple Primary Elements, Cupid Crush Primary Elements, Coral Berry Primary Elements, This Little Piggy Harvest Gold, and Mystic Blue by Primary Elements. So we have quite a menagerie of <laughs> colors. Couldn't find it. Okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve colors, plus my base is Lucky 13. Hmm. I hope it's lucky. It's always been a lucky number for me. That's true. So we have 13 colors going on this, and we're just going to see what happens here, everybody. Can't drip, though. That's a beautiful color on the blue background for your central bloom. This is uh, French Lilac. It's in the new uh, colors that uh, Primary Element just came out with, which is, um, I think you have it written down. No, I don't. The Valentine uh, thing? No, I don't. <laughs> I thought it was on that paper over there. No, it isn't. Did you move it? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? I didn't know you were going to ask about it. See? See how hey, you ask me stuff? See? You're supposed to know this stuff, not me. To me, it's pink. This is lilac. I know. I mean, that's how much I know about it. Well, men, uh, men, 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 everybody. Well, but it doesn't matter because all these colors have the same recipe. And as in video 478, and there's a link in the description box to that recipe video. It's a new recipe video Kathy made up that talks about her base, her pouring medium, and her cell activator. Oh boy, I got blue here all over me. Ah, uh, that's okay. That is okay. Okay, we're going with the lemon drop. For those of you who are new to our channel, uh, this is what we call a radial bloom. It's where Kathy has a central bloom. <gasps> of a color, and she's also going to go back and drizzle some other colors on there. But to, and then she goes around the outside with a variety of colors, and that makes a unique painting once it is blown out. This is the Orange Yellow by Arteza. Yeah, these are fun to do. This is Teal Zircon. Kathy has a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join it. It's a great place for you to post your creations, ask questions, make comments. Just have a lot of fun with the group. Yeah, we do have a lot of fun in there. There's some great artists in there. And um, a lot of times people have, a lot of the beginners have questions because they're new to this. And uh, you can always get an answer. 
always. Yeah, you get a nice wide variety of answers because there's, you know, many ways to do things. There's different recipes and there's different techniques. So you get a kind of a nice wide view of what people are doing. Yeah, we're growing pretty fast in there too. I think we're up to 6,400, yes. which is awesome, everybody. Thank you for joining our group. Okay, we're gonna go with the gold in between here. Oh, shoot. Oh, you making the drippers. Damn it. I almost said a no, no word. <laughs> I thought you came pretty close. Yep. We don't wanna to have to censor anything on here. Nope. Darn it. Come on, Kath. It's dripping off the side there. That's the problem. Don't even go there. Don't forget to check out the description box of all our videos. There's lots of great information in there. Uh, there's some discount links to a lot of the products that Kathy is affiliated with, such as Color Art Primary Elements, all their products. Arteza Paints and their products, KS Resin, and Boom Gel Stain, which also uh, includes Australian Floetrol. So take advantage of those discount codes. You can save some nice money. I will remember to do that, Phil. <laughs> well, you better. I'm checking the visa bill. Yeah, you got to check the visa bill. Our visa bill got hacked, so we had to get new cards because somebody was spending money that wasn't theirs. Yeah, they got, uh, I guess, uh, some nice New Year's Eve outfits because that's when they charged it in New York in New York City. And when I got the visa bill, I was kind of surprised that uh, who in the world needs uh, $1,800 worth of clothes for New Year's Eve, I guess. But uh, it's all been taken care of, but we got the hassle of getting a new card and then having to change it's such a pain. Yeah. It's like, leave my cards alone, people. That's actually the third time we've had a card hacked. We had uh, one time somebody was spending money like crazy in Spain. Yeah, <laughs> they spent uh, $6,000. And then another time in, I think it was Norway, uh, somehow they got a hold of our card number. So, oh boy, it's, thank God that uh, they have they systems to take care of this, yes. Oh, Phil, didn't I tell you? I was in New York. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Phil. I went to New York. Yeah, not. I'm not going anywhere with this pandemic, let me tell you. I'm staying right here. As you can see, Kathy is sort of doing what we call a double radial bloom. It's where she puts colors outside the central bloom color, and now she's putting a few more inside it. So that, it creates a lot more different colors in the bloom by doing it this way. As you can see, Kathy uses a puppy pool and a spinner to do her art. Uh, she does have a brand new video she did on how she sets up her pool and spinner for doing this type of art. There's a direct link in the description box uh, to that video. And also in our Amazon shop, you can get the puppy pool, the spinner, uh, the sticks, everything you need uh, to do the same setup. I think I have just oh, enough color on yes. here. What probably. are you adding to the central bloom now? Huckleberry. H Huckleberry, okay. By primary <laughs> elements. Huckleberry. I think I have just enough. I, I think so too. Maybe I'll put a little huckleberry here and here and here and here. Okay. I think that might be kind of pretty. Well, that's the fun part of doing this technique. You can kind of experiment and just wherever your mind tells you to put a color, you can do it. Yeah, if you don't drip it. What if you drip it? Oh! <laughs> Kathleen! Oh, 
All the colors Kathy uh, is using in this project today will be listed in the okay. description box. All right. Pop a few bubbles. Now, before we do this, uh, maybe I should wreck it and bring some colors out. No, I'm uh, going to do it after. Yeah, I think so. After. I think let's see where the colors Yeah, I got to see where they go first. Up. Might end up all over you, Phil. You never know. Okay. I was going to put some gold cell activator on this too, but I think I'm going to leave that be. I think I'm just going to do black. Okay. Sounds good. And the black cell activator is simply Amsterdam black paint and Floetrol. Australian Floetrol, by the way. All right, people. Here we go. Abracadabra. You know what you got to do, baby. You ready, Phil? I'm ready. Picked up all those nice colors around the center of the bloom. Oh, I know it's erotic. Okay. As you can see, Kathy has a flexible straw, which allows her to direct the airflow exactly where she wants it, and in the amount of pressure she wants to put through the straw. As you can see, Kat, by doing that, Kathy is bringing up the cells under the cell activator. Ooh, these colors are pretty. Yes. Oh, you're getting a nice central bloom developing. Oh, is this going to be pretty? Yes. Yeah, it's going to be 
super colorful. Tons of color around the central bloom, and that's what why you use the radial bloom technique is to get those colors around the central bloom. So when it is blown out, you get all the different colors around the bloom, of course. I don't think we're missing one color in here. I know it. It's that's it's wonderful. None of them get lost under the other colors. If you would simply layer the colors all on top of each other and try to blow them out, you're just not going to pick up all the different colors as brightly as you get with the radial placing of the of the colors. Yeah, a little bit on you, but that's okay. Another one bites the dust. Let's take a look at this. There's central bloom with the darker and light pink, which wasn't pink. It had a different name, but... It was Huckleberry. Oh, yeah, Huckleberry. I'll never remember that. Okay. So Kathy's going to do a little wrecking. She likes to do the wrecking in this style because it takes away the hard edge around the bloom and gives it some interest within the area. Just some character. Yeah, character to uh, the bloom itself. Now she usually stays away from the central bloom, the center of the bloom, because she likes the colors and the cell activity that's already there. For this wrecking, Kathy is using the pointed end of a wrecking stick because she prefers to have slimmer or dainty lines coming out. Okay. Okay. It's beautiful. I just got to pop some of these bubbles. I think I got them all. Maybe not. The use of the colored base, that surf and blue that Kathy used, uh, that's kind of neat because it really helps to pop out the, the bloom that's made. It's a very nice background. It's simply not just a white background. It's a colored background that really enhances and pops the bloom. Okay, here we go. Okay. You ready? Yep, not too fast, I don't think, because... I know, Phil. We ain't going too fast. I don't think it has to move too much. No, it does not. I'm just seeing about the bubbles. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's very pretty. Just got to tip it a little. Okay. You're going to try to center it some? Yep. Okay. Oh. I'll back up and show that. Wow, that <laughs> that is very striking. I just got to see if it's centered. 
I gotta step back. I gotta tip it my way a little. Okay. I can see better by tipping it towards me. Yeah, that's fine. That way I can show the base. It's a cake spinner base. It's heavy, which is what you want. You want a nice, solid, heavy base uh, for your spinner. It's raised up about six inches from the bottom of the pool. That also helps for tipping like Kathy was doing and raising up the art closer to you. Ah. Stop it, people. I think it's uh, centered pretty well, in yeah, my view. Yeah, it is. Because I'm worried about that one area. There we go. Okay. I just had to get it right here. I had to get my measuring stick out to where my eyes. Oh, this is so pretty, people. This is gorgeous. Yes. Just it looks like a, just a bouquet of flowers. Around the bloom. And as I mentioned, that, that is the purpose of doing the radial bloom style, is that way you can get all these colors that you put down around the bloom. Oh, this is gorgeous. To show up very nicely around the center of the bloom. People, if you mm -hmm. like this uh, color background, go to Sherwin-Williams, and it's called Surfing. Surfing Blue. Or sur just Surfing? Surfing. Sur just just surfing. surfing. Okay. Yep. It's really a beautiful color. Really it's pretty. So, so soft. So nicely. Really does. I love all these colors. Every single yes. color came through. It did. Mm-hmm. Get the yellow, the, the green the reds, the purples, blues. I'm just popping orange, some bubbles, people. The oranges. That's all I'm doing. Greens, there's a nice green there too. Yeah, I mean, we have them all. This is gorgeous, this is gorgeous, holy cow. Glad I did that blue background. Yes. I have more surprises coming up, people. I have more surprises for everybody, so you got to stay tuned because you never know what we're going to be doing. But, however, please, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you um, join our family. Go to our Facebook group, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Join that as well. Leave me a comment. Uh, and as I said, there's more surprises coming in the future. Stick around because we're going to have a good time. And I want everybody to remember, you know what, it's only paint. It's just only paint. Don't get frustrated. It's only paint. So until the next time, everybody, I hope you stay well, stay healthy, and um, have fun painting. See you later, alligators. Bye. Can you turn it so it's this, yeah, that way. I can get a better view, overall view of it.